So out here at beautiful Lake Las Vegas, a uh, perfect place to demonstrate all things electric on the water. Uh, coming soon will be the video on the flight boards, electric e-foils, and uh, Raiden jet board. Those are a total blast, and uh, three different models of the flight board. I'll demonstrate with different wings, different masts, etc. Welcome to Net Positive. Today I will be showcasing the pure solar-powered pontoon boat. In a previous video on this channel, I uh, showed the building of this boat. This is a conversion project utilizing a 60 horsepower Yamaha sourced outboard converted to electric, 35,000 watts. And the canopy, whose main purpose was for shade, but will be double uh, servicing with solar canopy. As you can see, I have the power completely disconnected from it, from the battery, but I do have these smaller wires coming in that lead up to the solar array on the roof, which is comprised of just four bifacial panels by Canadian Solar. These are capable of over 500 watts of power each uh, due to their bifacial design, and out here on the lake, I'm expecting to get quite a bit of reflection off the water, um, helping out the bottom side of these. So under the cowling of this is a Montenergy three-phase synchronous AC motor powered by a Sevcon controller. This is running at 96 volts off of, under this white box, is a single module from a Tesla Model 3, about 20 kilowatt hours, again, 96 volts. That's uh, 60 horsepower equivalent. It's really only a little under 50 horsepower, electrically speaking, due to the instant torque. Uh, it does perform better than a equally uh, horsepower source gas motor. So the canopy here was totally custom. Uh, in retrospect, I wish I had just welded it instead of doing all this complex uh, bolting and angles, etc. And also it was originally designed for 20 of these semi-flexible RV panels, but they looked so cheap and, and I think the first stiff wind we had would have just taken them off of this thing. So I ended up sort of retrofitting these larger Canadian solar panels on here and then just putting some uh, the roofing tin underneath it that will reflect up and hopefully keep their production consistent. Uh, not quite the look I was going for, but uh, the main thing is that we get shade from this. A look up underneath at the uh, bifacial design. It makes a really quite an attractive canopy from the inside and uh, provides nice shading. One thing I'm noticing though is that because they are double glazed, they are heavier units and that makes about 250 pounds worth of panel I have up here. And being that it's, you know, almost eight feet up to the top of these, the boat has a little bit more of a back and forth to it when you step onto it. They're a little bit top heavy now. These are equivalent to the 72 cell full-size panels, uh, same amount of output. Uh, these run about 40, eight volts and about 11 amps. Okay, the solar panels are putting out 170 volts at 10 amps. It's about 1700 watts, it's a little over two horsepower. And looking at what's going into the motor, a little bit higher because the charge controller is a DC to DC converter. It lowers the voltage a little bit to the 100 volts that this runs at. So right now we are running on 100% solar power. The battery is not hooked up to this motor. It is just strictly getting that from the sunshine that is striking these four panels. I'll do a GPS here, but it feels like we're moving about five miles an hour maybe. We could do that as long as the sun shines. So that's pretty cool. Uh, GPS says about four miles an hour and that is with no batteries, 100% solar power. Obviously, the boat can sit out in the sun all day and charge up the battery once I hook it back up and uh, have access to the full you know, 50, 60 horsepower. This boat actually wakeboard behind it uh, off of that for get about up to two hours uh, off and on time. If you were just running at full speed, you'd get only about 45 minutes. Uh, with this one battery. Of course, I could add more batteries, but that would also add more weight. But if effectively, you could take this boat out on Lake Powell or something and 
uh, go essentially forever. But of course you could go out and spend a couple of days, camp out, charge your battery up, and be able to go faster. This is proof of concept for a larger idea, which would be to do a whole houseboat, which could have a hundred of these panels on it. Uh, and, and probably 10 full Tesla batteries so that you'd be able to spend about a week in the sun, charge it up. So as it sits in the dock, it charges, you come out and take your vacation, you can go anywhere on the lake with it, run the battery down as you go, come home with an empty battery, park the boat, it spends another week sitting in the sun recharging. It kind of cracks me up just to see this motor running, making a little bit of a wake, and it's not even hooked up to the battery. <laughs> Power of sunshine. So here we are at wakeboard speed. Uh, actually probably make a fairly decent wakeboard boat just with the power that it has on it there. Wake is coming in fairly close to the back of the boat. Speed of about 17 miles an hour. Riding up front, probably just hearing uh, mostly the wind noise. about what it's like riding on an electric pontoon.